Well, this weekend was the Arizona Highland Celtic Festival at Fox Glen Park, and it was one that nobody should have missed. I know I was out there. Sierra, did you get a chance to get out to the festival? You know, Alex, I was actually there almost all weekend, and I saw NAZ Today reporter Kaylee Emery out at the games as she talked to some of the athletes uh, that were doing some of the, the Highland Games competitions. Kilts? kilts and even more kilts. That's one thing you'll spot at the Flagstaff Highland Games, part of the Celtic Festival here in Northern Arizona. We've got seven classes competing in total. There are three women's and four men's classes. Um, all of them are amateur classes right now. We don't have any professional athletes competing here today, but um, there are eight events total that they compete in. They do two stone throws, two hammer throws, two weight for distance throws, the caber toss and the weight over bar. Uh, I've been competing for 20 years. This is I'm going into my 21st year now. Uh, in September, I'm going over to Scotland to compete in the uh, World's uh, Masters Championships. So I'll be competing with the women in the 50 plus age group over there. There's actually going to be 190 athletes all over 40 years old throwing in Scotland this year. I've uh, been competing for about five years now here. Actually, this is my inaugural fifth year of coming to this game. This is my first one and happy to be back in Flagstaff. The weather's beautiful up here. and. Definitely uh, looking forward to a good day. I definitely enjoy it. It's, it's definitely motivating seeing friends every time I come out and compete with them. You know, these people not only became competitors, but we're family anymore. And it's great seeing them every every games I go to. We travel together, so it's a lot of fun. There's people from all walks of life. You know, it's centered around Celtic heritage, but um, that by no means is that something that they want you to have to come to the festival. They want everybody to come out and check it out. So you got everybody out here. Today we're doing all of the, the classic Highland Games events. Um, I like the caber, of course, the big log. Um, that's the funnest one and the biggest crowds usually too. Now your son is also doing these events, correct? Yes, this is his first games today and he's uh, beating me already, so good for him. Uh, this is my second games and I've been training since January. The people are really friendly and that's one thing I like. Even though we're really competitive, a lot of us are. We're also friendly and we cheer each other on and give each other advice. Uh, I think it's probably a given that everybody says it, but the, the caber toss is a lot of fun. It's a fan favorite too. Uh, it doesn't make I me, mean, it's the easiest one by any means, but um, it's a fun challenge. To be able to qualify for overall placement in the games, you have to compete in all eight events. People can choose, kind of pick and choose which ones they want to compete in, but if you want to qualify to place overall, then you have to throw all eight events. For NAZ Today, I'm Kaylee Emery.